who gave the right to decide who do I love? We can't do that, holding hands in public. How else can you feel free if you can't be your way? <laughs> My dream come true. That's the reason why we're here in Germany. Ooh. Oh. Oops. This will be a real marriage. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> this is my diamond. <laughs> ich freue mich natürlich hier im Standesamt Tempel auf Schöneberg ihre Eheschließung hier beurkunden zu dürfen. People should not be afraid of being who they are. And now the time has come to celebrate your love with pride. Yes, I do. I absolutely fucking do. I can always proudly say now, this is my man. Our way is love. Not gonna lie, I really gotta hand it to the advertisers at Burger King for creating such a spectacular advertisement promoting gay rights. It, like, copies the... the the message Stone Toss was promoting in his comic about diversity and just promoting it in ads instead of, you know, trying to gain more customers. A shitload of LGBTQPZ plus customers. Maybe 10 tops. If anything, I'm curious how Stone Toss feels about a corporation copying his original piece of art. Though I guess some people would consider his art a piece of shit. So yeah, that whole Burger King commercial just oozes woke culture. I really love it. Like, I just cannot get enough of it. After reading the Caligari plan, researching Kudenho Caligari, I never realized how much I can just understand how the world works along with understanding more information just like the, the whole Glomo homo conspiracy theory which is basically the LGBTQPZ plus with, without the S taking over the world aside with the Zionist Jews you know but in any case I thought that commercial itself was truly heartwarming it really 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 touched my soul you know like just two at least upper rich white dudes love each other they, they both seem to have a career going for them and they want to get married can't believe over a hundred countries ban gay marriage Ugh, it's unbelievable I wish they would just work on the countries that like you know have problem with rape crime like Sweden or a migrant crisis like the rest of Europe but, you know they'll I'm sure they'll be added and and you know notes to talk about in mainstream media I'm sure they won't ignore it or anything but yeah besides the whole heartwarming tale and I didn't really feel like buying Burger King after this. Like, Burger King, I don't want to buy their burgers anymore. I don't think I want to buy fast food anymore. I just want to buy bananas. I want to buy a shitload of bananas. Just increase my potassium intake, if you get what I'm saying. Maybe Burger King and whoever's creating these commercials, these amazing quality filled with diversity advertisements should just just stick to burgers stick to stick to making commercials and advertisements for your main stable consumers instead of the minority 
which is the LGBT. LGBTQ+, plus, PZ, whatever, they are minority. People love catering to vocal minorities, like the LGBT, Muslims, and whoever else they can choose. That's how it works. But in any case, Burger King, just stick to your actual consumers instead of the woke consumers. They don't give a fuck about you. They, they love the, uh, the pandering. They love that. I love pointing out the pandering. I like making fun of everything that appears in the world because the world's literally a clown world at this point. But instead of being angry, I just love talking about it. I'm not able to talk about it with other people because they, they love labeling me as crazy even though I read this shit on a daily basis. Just lets me know what's next, you know? I mean, it's been a lot going on these past two weeks in America. Really hope the American government isn't behind any of it. But in any case, why don't you tell me your opinion on this commercial? Did I go too harsh on giving the reality in which it is just a pandering woke commercial? to make more LGBT people think to themselves, oh, Burger King's catering towards us. Maybe we should just buy their food and hopefully force their, their political ideology onto more mainstream consumers. Or do you think I'm just talking out of my ass? Let me know what you think in the comments below so we can keep the conversation going. Because I like responding to comments, unlike Tim Pool. In any case, I hope you all have a lovely day. God bless.